Um, well, hi everyone. Wait, oh, wait, wait. rude. Hi everyone, wait, wait, like... wait, wait. Um, I like the mirror over here because sometimes I like to look at myself. What a shock. Yeah. Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of What's Ending with G. And welcome Liz. Liz is the junior category manager for fragrance. And makeup. So we have got many, many products to go through today. It's a big month of units. It's a hair bonanza. Okay. Little skin, little fraggy. Little fraggy, you little can't makeup. Say fraggy. So let's start with scalp. Now, scalp is the new thing. Yes, for you specifically, who has but a dodgy scalp. That's so rude! You can review my Beauty IQ article that I've just written. A lot of on deeply in depth photos at the back of his head if you've ever wanted to know what that looks like. <laughs> we have got two new scalp products mm -hmm. at Adore Beauty one from L'Oreal Pro, one from Kerastars. Now, the L'Oreal Pro range is the scalp advanced range. There's three different products mm -hmm. in the range, all targeting different scalp needs. And so this range isn't necessarily new, mm -hmm. but it's just new at Adore. I am using the Kerastars range at the moment. I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This Kerastars range I have been using for months. I stole it from the L'Oreal office. Now moving on that same thing of like skincare ingredients and mm -hmm, hair care, mm -hmm. this one, Coco and Eve Youth Revive. Youth Revive. Um, now I have seen this trending. I don't watch the talk but I have seen it on the reels. Mm. Now this has got retinol in it, I believe. But look, they're saying here, formulated to help three signs of aging here, which is loss of shine, strength, and volume. We talk about our skin aging, we talk about our body aging. We don't really talk about oh, hair aging. This. I'm 31. So underrated uh, thing to be uh, bringing out a collection for. Now carrying on with the hair care trend, yes. we've also got something for our curly locks. I didn't even know this had come out. My, Look how cute it it's is. so adorable. My wife is a curly girl. So if you're doing curly girl method, TM, um, it's quite a rigorous routine. So yes. there's no sulfates in it, there's no silicones in it because curly hair is more porous. That's what gives it the curl to it. So you need to be treating it in a really different way. So it has to be super duper hydrating, but also something that's gonna to help to kind of form the curl and also make, make sure that the curl isn't um, kind of more exposed to any damage because of that porosity. Okay, skincare. Let's start with ourselves. Sure. AB Lab Skincare is here! AB Lab is our own skincare brand. It's the Adore Beauty Lab has come to life. Yes. And there is five products in the range plus the um, SPF. So I have got the cleansing balm in my shower. The real benefit of being a kind of a, an own brand is that we have um, advice opinions from literally thousands upon thousands of people that have shot with us over the years. Mm. I have been trialing this, both of them, I reckon, for the last... I reckon eight months is what the... That was very ASMR. <laughs> I am, quite frankly, obsessed. Are you? Like, I am. I mean, to be fair, I'm a little bit biased because I went through the whole process with them. But I just feel like the end result, what they've landed on, is so high quality at such an affordable price. Moving into something a little bit more hardcore. I am quite the fan of Murad, I must say. Yeah. And this is their new Retinol Resculpt Overnight Treatment. Mm -hmm. And I have been using this probably for about a month now. Mm, you are um, quite youthful. Thank you. Mm. I think I'm also applying my makeup better. Quick thing with mm. retinols mm. and active ingredient products overall. A big thing that we don't talk about a lot is delivery systems. Yes. Now all active ingredient products have a different way of delivering the ingredients to the skin. And there are certain brands that work for me and brands that don't because they all kind of have a, a similar philosophy mm -hmm. in how they deliver them. What your skin is able to use is something called retinoic acid, right? So retinoic acid is two steps away from retinol. So what using a retinol does is it means you can see results faster because it doesn't need to go through that secondary process of changing. Two new skin kind tints. of like skin tints. It's a Maybelline Superstay 24 hour tint with vitamin C. I, I have tried this. Deeply obsessed with this one. So it's a 24 hour skin tint. Firstly, I've never seen a 24 hour skin tint in my entire life. What but am I doing 24? Is this for if I go to Berlin and I'm going to go to one of these 24 hour Berlin, yeah. Oh, ribs on a, Tuesday, on a set Friday night. 24 hour Maybelline skin tint. That's Melbourne reference. <laughs> Were I to find myself on a, on a night out, I could rely on this for the full 24 hours. Also has vitamin C in it, so you've got your skincare ingredients in it. Also has a slight pearlescence through it, so although it's got that 24 hour finish to it, which means it's not going to move, it does still have that kind of light reflexive behaviour that makes it appear quite alive on skin. And at the other end of the spectrum, we've got the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tin SPF 15. So, Really quick things to talk about here. It's part of the vitamin enriched range. Now this is probably the first lot of development within that vitamin enriched range we've seen for a long time. Mm, They've mm. got vitamin enriched face base, which we all know and love. They've got the eye base, again, we all know and love. The texture you, you would expect. Yeah. It's much it's, balmier, richer, quite nourishing. I was gonna say thinner, look, look you know, slipperier. Let's try it out. Like you can tell oh, that's got SPF in it. so much in it. Uh, no, okay, yeah, you're right. It is thin, but when I say balmy, what I really mean is like, 
nourishing hydrating. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's got, it's got the vitamin enriched. Yeah, despite uh, the thin properties. texture, like look at that. Yeah. that is just glow city. Try different application techniques. Yep. Try your fingers, try a brush, try a sponge, and see what works for you because skin tints just do not operate in the same way that normal brand, brand, liquid yeah. foundations yeah. work. Yeah. So have a play with it is my big advice. Totally. And great for guys who want the guy next door look. Yep. Makeup forever. Exclusive to a door. Exclusive to a door. These are pencils, face pencils effectively, that can be used on your eyes, lips, I mean cheeks I suppose if you wanted to, you could do a little freckle Ooh, look. Okay. Um, come in five different colours, uh, all in the kind of sh nudie, pinky, brownie. These are all the artist colour pencils by yes, the way people. correct, correct. So there's a couple of like really um, cult ones in there. Limitless Brown I know is like that kind of ultimate 90s. Oh it's a multi-use matte pencil. Yes, okay, ultimate cool. 90s girl lip. Um, the Free Burger D would be stunning as an eyeliner, especially on some people, some people with green eyes. Lovely. Oh, beautiful. Um, myself included. <laughs> uh, but also would be a fantastic lip lighter for those with deeper skin tones. The full gamut of shades. It's very range on cute, these. people. Really artistry led, but very also versatile as well. Very, really very versatile. cute. And the 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 Mufi, as I call them, um, liner formula does not quit. Cute. I love it. Last one. New fragrance. I know My you're going to get a crack. I'm giving you, you a so Rebel Rose. And, uh, Rebel Rose. Okay. Rebel Rose. And I'm so Wall Street. Are you? Okay. So you may think Elijah. that. You may think that. But truly, to get the full experience of these two, you need to wear them together. They're designed to be a layer oh, of I'm hair. Oh, I'm obsessed. Floral smoke wood. Is that how you would describe Wall Street? Uh, I was just a little bit leatherier than that. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's very... I'm taking that home. It's very masculine. Yeah, you can have that one, actually. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Rebel <laughs> Rose is rose spice wood, but I'm going to say it's not a super duper feminine floral. No, I did enjoy this when I sp smelled it last mm. week. And can I just talk, because rose is quite a scary scent, I think, for yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. This is definitely a grown <coughs> mature... You got it right in the throat there? Yeah. This is rose for 2023. Yeah. And, and beyond. Like, I, I remember the rose trend from a few years ago. Ali Saab, Narcisa Rodriguez, yep. you know, they all went through, like everyone came out with the rose flanker. Yep. Um, I would say it's a very different rose. Yep. It feels like a modern millennial rose. Yes. This is a this is a Sydney rose for me. The yeah. Modern rose. And just to be clear, it's who was Elijah. Who was Elijah, of course. Oh, gosh. Thanks, Liz, for joining. Oh, thank you for having me. You're a hoot. I am a hoot. I thought you would be far ruder to me, but no. Um, what if I have been ruder? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a whippet, according to Liz. <laughs> I called him a whippet. One time. What dog are you? No, I can't remember that. I think I said you're, you're an English bulldog. Yeah, I, I do identify with an English bulldog.